some people need to be in prison to learn their lesson. This is what Munoz said. And I wish I got the, sent to prison a long time ago. I kept getting probation for this and that. They should, when it comes to gang violence, they should send those guys to prison, even guys like me. Now, if it's come to the awareness of a gang member that the criminal justice system is basically like a turnstile on a revolving door, I think it is incumbent upon all of us who are elected leaders, people in the criminal justice system, people of faith, that when you commit a serious gun offense, you should serve the time. The victims deserve it. The public demands it and the criminal justice system should deliver it. Now, New York has such a law. Three-year minimum serious gun offenses with truth in sentencing. It has worked as a part of a strategy in reducing gun violence in their city. They have also shown that actually, because of the right strategies and right focus of the criminal justice system, actually less people are now spending time incarcerated because the police department, the legal system, and everybody else is focused on the hard criminals affecting the gun violence in a city. And it works, in my view, in conjunction with a whole series of things. Too often this debate becomes binary or single focused. Do you need better police tactics, more strategic? Yes. Do you need better prevention, after school programs, early childhood education, mentoring, summer jobs? Absolutely. Do you need a comprehensive uh, background check to prevent criminals from getting guns in the first place? Absolutely. Fighting to make that happen. And do you need a preventive and what I call a deterrent in the criminal justice system as well to work with all the other pieces? You have to hit all the keys on the keyboard. So it's not just policing. It's not just after school. It's not just uh, summer jobs. It's not just early childhood education. It's not just mentoring. It's not just criminal background checks to prevent criminals from getting the guns. It is also all of that and more. And that includes making sure that we have a truth in sentencing provision and stiff penalties for gun crimes. Because you cannot have, if we're going to prevent criminals from getting access from guns, we need to make sure that we are also dealing with the criminal, that once the crime is committed, not allowing those individuals back on the streets to become either victims or perpetrators of crimes again. And I think this makes sense. It's the right strategy. Uh, it works in complement with all the aspects. And that is, while today's focus is on a mandatory minimum and the truth in sentencing as it relates to gun crimes, you have to have all the other aspects working in unison and in conjunction. Better mentoring, better summer jobs, most importantly after school programs and initiatives so kids can do athletic, artistic, academic programs, better prosecution, better enforcement of the laws, mentoring for the young men so they have a they get morally grounded, knowing the difference between right and wrong. But every aspect has to work, and we can't leave any part of the conversation off limits from what needs to be part of the solution to the gun violence in the city. I want to thank everybody for being here, being part of this. Look forward to working with the legislators down in, in Springfield to getting this done. I want to thank Anita also for the action today to make sure that given until the law is passed, all the prosecutors will go for the fullest extent. But that does not mean we cannot and should not get this done. I think the city is at this inflection point upon reflection. And that is a real decision about how we as a city make sure our youth have a future. They are our future, and if we invest in them, they will achieve it. But we have a role to play, everybody, regardless of where you live. The issue of urban gun violence is not limited to Chicago. You know, NBC did a story last night on New Orleans. It's not limited. It's an urban, it's an urban problem that actually the only time the gun issue ever gets affected is when Newton happens, Newtown rather. This ha has happened too often. What happens in urban, uh, urban areas around the country too often gets shunted away, gets put to the side, except for when it's a Columbine. Is that an amen I'm hearing from you, Father Flager? Thanks. Uh, that's what I thought it was. I've been in church a little too often right away. It off too often it's a Columbine. It's Newtown. 
It's Sandy Hook. It's all those situations. Appropriately. These are our children. And the worst thing would be, in my view, when you, if you're asking me to balance the equities, Craig, the worst thing would be is to say, let's not discuss this, because if we can actually, Chicago can lead the way to common sense gun laws, common sense enforcement, and an honest discussion about morally anchoring our young men into an affirmative view of themselves and their future, I'm proud that Chicago will lead that way.